Welcome to this series of videos to help improve your practical skills and knowledge about preparing and cooking red meat. These videos are brought to you by Meat and Education. Hello, first of all, let's go through the sort of equipment you might use to cook red meat on the hob. Depending on the recipe and what cut of meat you're cooking, you might use a non-stick frying pan, a saucepan with a lid or a wok. We're going to talk about four cooking methods that are used on the hob and these are dry frying, boiling and simmering, pan or shallow frying and stir frying. Hobs can be electric or gas and work by heating the pan which by conduction heats the food in the pan to cook it. I'm going to make Mediterranean vegetables with pork chilli to show you dry frying and then boiling and simmering. I haven't added any oil to the pan as the meat will cook in its own juices. This makes a much healthier way to cook. I'm adding tomato flesh, chopped tomatoes, tomato puree, dried chilli flakes, and beans. This will make a sauce. I will bring the liquid up to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer. Can you see the large rolling bubbles? This means the liquid is now boiling. I'm now going to turn it down to a simmer. Can you now see the smaller, more gentle bubbles? The meat and the sauce will now be simmered for about 10 minutes until the meat is cooked. While the pork is cooking, I'll demonstrate pan or shallow frying and cook some Chinese lamb bubble and squeak cakes. I'm using a moderate amount of fat which conducts the heat from the pan to the food and also prevents the food from sticking to the pan. It is important that foods are cooked in a single layer and that the temperature is controlled. If the temperature is too low, the food absorbs more of the fat and takes longer to cook, but if it's too high, the food might burn. The final method I'm going to, to show you is stir-frying, which is a quick, healthy way to cook food through conduction. The wok cooks meat very quickly on the hot, round base. You can then push it up the sides, so you can add the vegetables and the sauce to stir-fry at the bottom. Here is the Mediterranean vegetables with pork chilli, which I started cooking earlier. Once the mixture was cooked on the hob, I used it to fill the tomato shells and long peppers and then baked the dish in the oven. For more information about red meat, cooking and healthy eating, as well as lots of recipe ideas, go to meatandeducation.com.